Welcome to the Rainbow Trail. More specifically, the Endurer section of the Rainbow Trail. This place has a hillside, which in these parts of Sweden is not a commodity. We are here to build a jump trail, a progressive one. Me and a few other people felt that this has been missing here, so we're taking matters in our own hands. The plan is to make a jump line down and alongside the hill, ending up in a pump track on the flat part. Today we'll start breaking ground in the existing trail. We need to make the trail wider, burn bigger and start piling up dirt for a jump right after. Okay, so I'm trying to get shelter from the storm so that you can hear me speak. I'm out here on the first digging day for me and I thought I'd show you a little bit what has been done so far and what the plan is. Here is where there is already a drop and obviously Lee has been here digging to make it straighter down. We might pull this berm up so that you have something to catch you when you take the drop. And of course the drop is going to have to be built further out so that you can roll it or just send it deep if you want to because right now that's going to be overshot for sure this is going to need to be more benched out and that's going to give us more material to work with for this berm this berm right now is something that you'll have to get take very highly and it's very sharp so we need to widen it so that you can carry your speed down and that's what we're going to work on today. And then here Lee has been starting on a tabletop. Which is going to have to be bigger and wider. And we're going to have to widen this out. Lee said it was going to turn up here a little bit later. So I'm going to start digging on the berm. And I'll... Like, this is going to be a lot of time lapses, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, we're going to start digging and see what we can do. It's starting to look like a progressive drop. We will see how much material we need to put on top and <laughs> dig out, but probably the landing is gonna be have to be a little bit further for those who want to send it. Right now, I think there's so much work getting all this up <coughs> that I'm gonna wait with that and push the dirt downwards instead. And then when we build stuff up here, we can put more stuff onto this to make it a little bit wider and safer for everybody yeah We're gonna see what time it is maybe it's time for a little bit of coffee Okay, so what I've done today, I have gotten this more dressed up, make it more progressive. We're gonna put even more material here to and dig out the landing a bit more. Uh, so that's gonna be looking very good shortly. Uh, I got another angle of it. Yeah, like that. And uh, then I benched all this out, moved all of it. You can see the mound in the time lapse. And I cut out this berm. 
so we'll see what we do with that. And then, that's on cue, here's Lee. Welcome riders. <laughs> uh, and he's just now, yeah, I've dug out that part. We need to make go rounds for everything. That's the only rule we have, really. So this jump... Trails. Yeah, progressive trails. We need to uh, make this jump yay wide. And uh, we're just putting a lot of soil on top of it now. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be a nice little tabletop. So Lee's going to just keep working. And I got to go home. So uh, yeah, this is looking nice. The next digging day, Peter showed up with some sticks and rope and we managed to map out a burn with perfect radius. Since this turn will be 90 degrees, we need it to be wide enough to allow riders to carry speed. Let's recap a little bit. We have almost made an entire berm today. And it's not a small one. I think I made this quite correctly, we'll see. It's starting out, it's almost just a level fly out at this point and you don't need anything more because when you're down here, you are, like if you just float off the edge here, you're gonna be, yeah, you're a few meters off the ground by then and motoring down the hill but I think this is correctly because it's getting more and more graded more steeper the landing as the further down you go and of course you have a higher falling height fall elevation fall height so that when you come further down of course you're gonna want a more steeper landing so it's going to feel like the landing is disappearing from you and that's gonna be quite cool I think so maybe just dig this out a little bit to accommodate for a nice smooth transition and keep going down the trail but what i need to do now is make a drainage up there so that water doesn't flow all the way here creating a river but lead it from the berm straight down here instead but uh yeah i feel like we've been uh doing some work today and the buckets were great help so thank you Peter for that and also thank you Peter for this whole mapping out the whole berm beautiful work Thank you for joining us today. In the next episode we'll finish the jump and then go backwards up the hill and build the start of the trail. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't and I'll talk to you soon.
Phew. That's gonna work so well.